Dr. Partha Sarathi Meshra is a prominent IAS officer from the Odisha cadre, currently serving as director and additional secretary in the Public Enterprises Department. Known for his impactful leadership in civil and urban administration, he has received accolades including the UN Human Rights Award and the 2023 Exemplary Leader Award. Stay tuned for his valuable insights on leadership and recruitment. Let's hear directly from our distinguished guest himself. I am Dr. Parthas Harathi Mishra. I am an IS officer. I'm basically a senior civil servant in the government. I work for the government. And uh, as well as uh, I, I look after the public enterprise department, which is the nodal department of all the state corporate sector undertakings. So basically the corporate governance is my forte presently. So as an IS officer, I have worked in different departments like the, in the Department of Revenue, Department of Industry, Higher Education, uh, MSME, then Energy. A uh, couple of departments I have been worked uh, being, a, uh, being in a civil service. Let's start with our first question. What are the key challenges leaders face in managing large administrative teams? So the first challenge for a leader in administration is that information and communication. Information and communication is one of the most biggest challenges. The thing is that how to catch the best candidates, how to choose the best candidates who are available for your company. So that is also one of the biggest challenges we face. The, the last but not the least, I feel that the accountability is also one of the biggest challenges because everybody works but nobody owns. Next question is, how can leaders attract top talent in a competitive market? Most important part is that first your organization's credibility is important. So you have to have a credible organization. You, your antecedent and credentials of your own organization has to be good. For that, you need to have a perfect HR policy. The HR policy for recruitment, for promotions, for retirement benefits, health insurance, all social security. So your company or your uh, department has to attract the best talents. Because every candidate today's world is very smart. They understand what is there. So they always compare. So relatively how best you are. That is first your presentation, how credible you are. The number two is that you have to see that what is the what is the current demand. So your company is supposing catering to a particular area. So what is the demand for that? And how best you can, you can advertise that? Advertisement is one thing because what is, if it is not visible, if your company's uh, credentials are not known to people, then how the students will know? So it is only they will know through the mass scale communicative skills and your administrative skills. Thereby they will understand. You have to have a huge campaigning through social media, through different uh, modes. You can do that. How can leaders enhance their employer brand to attract high quality candidates? So these software technologies which are available presently globally, they are so good. So the, all the recruitment technologies, particularly the software, which are AI based, that needs to be obtained by your company or it has to be properly executed by your company so that you can find out who is the best. What opportunities can leaders leverage to drive innovation and enhance efficiency in their organizations? Well, what Maxwell says, a leader, he shows the way, he knows the way, and he goes the way. What a leader should have. A leader, why I always call it leadership in administration is important, because a leader has a vision. He has a mission backed by a strategic planning and extremely important on it, he is accountable. So a leader is who he has to see the how the different different verticals of a company they can be integrated so that everywhere there is a competition it's a cutthroat competition across the globe you can't stop competition but the time has come that you have to capture the moment what is required what is not required what is relevant what is not relevant so it is all the demand and supply driven society very competitive so a, an able leader in any governance system has to first arm himself with the knowledge and information. As I told you that information and knowledge was a little club. 
without uh, no, the information you are dated you can't do anything the last i will quote victor hugo the the famous french novelist he says you can't stop an idea whose time has come in fact the time has come that everybody the government the private sector and the self employment sector they must understand the importance of technology they must understand what how a recruitment can be done how they can lead the organization get the best best talents of that country or beyond the country thank you thank you dr partha sarathi mishra for sharing your valuable insights with us today Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and share for more such insightful discussions. Stay tuned for our next episode.